Hello everyone and welcome back to A Gardener's Notebook. I'm Douglas E. Welch and this is a container garden update. Um, things are slowing down here in the container garden and despite our high temperatures, it's like 80 some degrees today, the um, squirrels have taken the um, shorter days and decided that it is indeed fall and they must dig everywhere including unfortunately in my pot full of parsley and chives you can see they've done a bit of damage there's still some left over here and I think we'll eventually get a crop if they stop digging in there we might put some um, metal mesh over the top of this just for the time being to keep them out they have been a problem slightly in the past they don't tend to dig up my bulbs or anything else but uh, in this case they did do quite a job on this container uh, we're gonna water this in and keep it watered and maybe plant a few more uh, part of the problem too and let's see if I can show you it's kind of hard but if you see how high the fence is next to this pot and our Sun has gotten just low enough in the sky that actually this pot and all of the containers are being in the shade a little bit more than I would like uh, I'm hoping I'm thinking maybe raising these up on some uh, cement blocks or something raising it maybe one or two blocks high just to get a little more Sun during the main part of the day to help things grow a little faster of course at winter anytime things are going to slow down a bit you can even see over here at our basil plant over here that you know it's slowed down uh, it's still growing fine and everything but it is a bit uh, more slow now than it was in the height of summer and the same with the peppermint there that pot is obviously doing best of all uh, of all the pots all four pots we have out here and I'll show you the other pots in just a second now here's pot number oh I guess we'll call this pot number three uh, and you can see or maybe you can't see the squirrels have been digging in this quite a bit too luckily the strawberries are just uh, much more resilient in regards to standing up to the squirrel attacks here this is our melon vine we did give one melon off it it is our volunteer melon uh, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull him out uh, you see he didn't root that deeply it's surprising he fruited at all but uh, we're gonna take this whole trellis actually out of the way since we don't need it anymore and uh, we can always put that back in should we need it in the future uh, again, our wine bottle watering is still in place. Our strawberries are doing okay. Um, and uh, in some of them, uh, they are reaching down to the ground. It looks like we might even have some runners in the ground over there. So we'll take that and look at that in just a moment. In here, uh, if possible, I may try and plant maybe some more kale in this pot um, as it's been bug eaten in the other pot. And I think if I move it to a different pot, maybe that'll help uh, spread things out a little bit. The bugs seem to have found it there pretty readily. So. Maybe we'll try that. And finally here is pot number four. And you can see the uh, the kale's been pretty bug eaten here. I'm actually thinking at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, well, maybe not. I was gonna pull that out, but boy, it's rooted pretty darn well in there. You know what? Maybe I'll leave that there and maybe I'll see if I can um, maybe add some more to the pot and to see if we can get two pots of it going here. I didn't expect it to be quite that healthy. I figured as bug eaten as it is, it would come right out of the ground, but uh, actually seems to be hanging in there. So maybe we'll leave that for now. I hope you can see, but uh, here are the runners coming down from this strawberry plant that's in this container here. And they are trying to get down here to the ground. What I'm trying to, been trying to do to help them along is kind of uh, bury the nodes here give them a chance to maybe root down into this bed if they do that it would be great and then i would actually take them out of the pots it would free up the pots for some other material so we'll see how that works out um, in the pot we actually do have a new plant that has rooted in fact yes it's all totally rooted into the ground there so they'll definitely take if they've got a good enough soil so hopefully we can get them to go right into the ground one thing we tried to get going in that pot I just showed you was some spinach, but I think the kale shoved it out, and again, I think the squirrels got a little bit in there. So what I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna actually plant a few spinach seeds in here, and down in there, and we'll water those in really well. Again, if the uh, strawberries take here, we'll take the individual plants and transplant them elsewhere, so I don't think they'll crowd the spinach out, but uh, I do wanna try and get a little bit started, and so, I don't want to have to thin too much, so I'm being a little judicious of how many seeds I put in here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of thinning, uh, but sometimes with the smaller seeds, there's simply not a whole lot you can do because they're just so hard to, uh, to get in there. So 
so hopefully these will come up nice and seedlings and the squirrels will avoid them and we'll get some spinach. I've actually discovered, uh, despite the fact that I don't like a lot of different fruits, I actually do like spinach. Um, usually raw is preferred to cook. Cooked, uh, cooked spinach gets a little slimy for me, but uh, if I could get some growing here, I would really be happy um, because uh, due to some health issues I've mentioned in previous shows, uh, I need to lose a lot of weight. I've needed to lose it for a long time, and frankly, having some fresh spinach around would really help with that. Well, that's it for this episode of A Gardener's Notebook. I hope you'll join us next time. For more information, you can always check the website, douglasewelch.com slash A-G-N. Again, douglasewelch.com slash A-G-N. Send in your questions and comments. Tell me what you'd like to see me do in my containers. Tell me what you're doing in your containers. I'd love to hear, and I'd love to hear what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong, more than likely. Send them along as comments on the website, Facebook, or on Twitter. I'd be glad to hear them.